Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Tanika. I know I've been a little MIA over the last couple of weeks, but I'm sitting down today. I'm doing some bulk filming, so expect to see some videos. Today, I just want to do a chill Tanika Talks, a casual little get ready with me. I've got some new makeup here that I want to talk about. I've got an iced coffee. Okay, so what's everyone been up to? I'm just using this BYS Hydrating Spritz. I really need it. As you can see, I'm a little more red than usual. I went out yesterday on the water and I got sunburned. I'm not happy about it. Let me tell you that. I'm going in with my Stila One Step Correct Primer. I just want something a little more hydrating than my L'Oreal. So recently Clinton sold his boat and bought a jet ski instead. He loved the boat and definitely doesn't regret purchasing it, but it was always really hard to go out because we didn't keep it at our house. He had to go and pick it up from somewhere else. So that was always really time consuming. And then I don't like fishing and I don't like being in the sun for very long. So if he wanted to go offshore and do some real serious fishing, I was not keen. And he did take a few friends with him, but they always got really seasick and it's just, it was just too much. So he brought a fishing jet ski, which is like a bit bigger than a normal one. And it comes with all these different fishing upgrades. I don't know. <laughs> So it's much better because we can actually keep it at home and he can go out by himself, get it on and off the trailer really easily, which is great. And then if I want to go out for a fun day, we can. And it also seats three people as well, so we can take a guest. <laughs> for foundation, I'm going in with this Designer Brands Skin Renew Foundation. This one is quite new to my collection. It leaves the most beautiful glowy finish, but I am still chesting. Chesting? testing the longevity. The shade I have is 380 Porcelain Ivory. I will list all the products down below in the description box, just in case I don't mention everything. So yesterday was the first day Clinton took me out on it for like a full, well not really a full day, but a few hours. I was quite nervous because like the boat had a cover, like a roof, and I could sit in the shade, but the jet ski, I'm like, okay, this is serious. I am going to be in the sun for hours, and I was really, really scared. I posted this picture on my Instagram of like jet ski, like going out on the jet ski expectations, and then reality. But anyway, I had like long pants on, my long fishing shirt on, I had my cap, sunglasses, I put sunscreen on all the areas of skin that were showing and I still got burnt on those areas of skin that were showing, which was my chin, my hands and the top of my feet. I think that I need to get a zinc because sunscreen just isn't gonna cut it if I go out on the jet ski and like I reapply. I'm a sunscreen freak. I was reapplying but it just, that sun, it's just damn savage. But besides the old sunburn issues, the jet ski was so much fun. Oh my god, I was really nervous because as I get older, I'm more afraid to do like activities that get your adrenaline pumping. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to love all that stuff, but now I just think about all the bad things that could happen while I'm doing this activity. Like, what's with that? And so I just said to Clinton, like, please just take it slow. Like, I know you want to go fast, but I'm scared. And so he took it nice and easy for me, which was so good, built up my confidence a bit. And then he even let me drive it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, going really slow at first. And then I was like, all right, building up some confidence now. Not like I was doing anything crazy. I was literally driving in a straight line. Whoa. But we went over to Morton Island. So it's about a 30... No, about a 40 to 50 minute trip from Bribey Island, but it is absolutely beautiful over there. It's quite a popular tourist destination here in Queensland because there's these massive shipwrecks over there that you can go and swim around and snorkel. You can drive your jet ski and your boat right up to them. And the water over there is just... <sighs> Stunning. Like it is so clear. You can see right to the bottom. Like 
beautiful swimming. Oh, it's so nice. And then going to go in with the matching Skin Renew Concealer in the shade Porcelain. So in conclusion, <laughs> We had a great day out on the jet ski yesterday and I think it's going to be a really fun activity for both of us. I'm so excited. Look how glowy my skin is. Oh, that looks so good. For bronzer, I'm going in with this Soul Bronzing Body Balm, I think it's called. And this is in the shade Light. So this is from the ColourPop website. And then I picked up this brush the other day. It's by Eco Tools. I've still got the package here. Ugh. It's the 360 degree ultimate sheer brush. And I'm pretty sure this is the one I've seen Jessica Braun using and she raves about it for cream products. So it has duo fiber bristles, which is great for blending out creams. I have been obsessed with my Sigma duo fiber brushes lately, but if you find these are hard to get here to Australia, which sometimes shipping can be quite expensive, then I thought I would test this one out to see if it's a good, like, better alternative for us Aussies and can confirm this brush is fantastic. So let me fill you in on some house updates. This is like the slowest process ever. <laughs> Bloody hell. So when we brought the land, um, it still had a lot of work to be done and it only just got registered last week. So that means our names are officially on the title of the land. We purchased this land months ago. So for months, it's just been like this slow waiting game, but it's finally registered. So we signed our house contract the other day as well for building. So we need to go over some plans with the builder now. I still don't think construction will start till next year. I'm just really hoping the house is finished before the wedding. So the new wedding date is in June. It would be really nice to be in the house before the wedding because like, dealing with a wedding and a house at the same time, <laughs> my mind will explode. The streets are also being built this week or like laid. I don't know what the correct term is for putting the bitumen in, but the streets will be done. They start today and he said on Sunday we can go out there and like officially drive down our street and look at our block of land, which <laughs> I'm so excited about because when we purchased it, it's literally just like, it's dirt. Like nothing was pegged out, like it's just dirt. So I'm really excited that we can finally go and like see where it is exactly and just, like, I'm so excited. Okay, tragic news. I'm pretty sure that Savvy has discontinued the cheek and lip color. This is all I've got left. Usually I have backups of my favorite products, but lately I've been trying to like chill on the backups. What a stupid mistake that was because now I have no more of these and I can't find them anywhere on the website or in store. They only have the duos. So these ones here that come with a highlighter and a blush, but this blush shade isn't the same as this one. So like, I've been having a little tantrum about that. So today I think I'll go in with the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. I'm still trying to figure out my thoughts on this one because the shade is like really deep. That's all right, that's all right. I'll just blend it out and we'll see what we can do here. So that's pretty much where we're at with the house and the land. I have started to do a bit of decluttering around here. We have a spare room that's just like a junk room. Does anyone else have that? It's just like, where does it go? put it in that room. And so I started cleaning that up the other day and I sold a bunch of stuff on good old Facebook marketplace just to get rid of some things that I just don't need anymore. I also did a massive drop up, drop up, <laughs> massive drop off to the salvos. So I think I'm just going to start slowly decluttering each room in the house, just so that when it does come to moving time, especially if it is going to be intertwined with the wedding, it's not like extremely overwhelming and stressful. Okay, I definitely didn't need that much blush. So you saw that tiny little blob, I blended it out and I used like a quarter of it. I would still prefer a more, like a brighter shade, like a coral or something. I feel like this one's a bit deep, but it does look nice and still very, very glowy. 
Now that I've got all my creams on, I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder just to set under my eyes and throughout my T-zone. So if you watch all of my kind of Tanika Talks, more personal chatty videos, you would know that I've been wanting to go and see a counsellor for a while now. I finally booked in with one and today I'm going to my third session. I just had this major like sense of relief and just oh like I don't even know how to explain it but the feeling of when I finally booked the appointment I was like oh my god like what a weight lifted it just felt so good and I was really excited I felt like it was a bit of a weird feeling to feel about going to a counsellor but I was pumped <laughs> but it has been so good I was really really nervous about like not liking the person and not just vibing with them and you know feeling like I can trust them and they understand me but the woman that I have been paired up with it's like amazing I feel really comfortable with her I've always been really open with my emotions anyway so I'm happy to like tell most people but I still wanted to obviously feel comfortable with the person I'm telling my feelings to and I'm really happy. Now, as I said, it is only my third session today, so we're taking things slowly. I feel like the last two sessions was kind of just getting all my feelings out, and today I'm really excited because I've done a little bit of homework that she's given me, and today we're going to go over that and just put some processes in place to help me with these feelings, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> One of the things that I feel comfortable enough to share with you guys and talking to her about was just the feeling of overwhelm and burnout and being so busy all the time and just my head feels like it's about to explode. <laughs> In this day and age, we are so praised for being busy and having so much on our to-do list, but it's not good for me. Like, I do feel like I'm a busy person and I get to a point every couple of months where I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> so I'm telling her like some negative things and then she asked me, what are some exciting things happening in your life? And so, you know, the wedding, the house, um, hobbies, like YouTube. And even though all these things are really exciting, they're also a little bit draining. So she's drawing them in my bucket and then she asks me, what do I like to do for fun? And you know, like I list a few things off, but then she showed me the bucket. I didn't know she was drawing it as I was talking. And she's like, you have so many things that are draining you and not enough filling you up and bringing you joy and happiness. And I'm like, hmm, okay, when you put it like that, like visually seeing it like that, I'm like, wow. Mm. Shit. So that's what I have been working on lately is just bringing things back into my life that purely give me joy and happiness and also just trying to take some time really for some self-care. I feel like the phrase self-care gets thrown around a lot, but really are we all taking the time to look after ourselves amongst our busy lives? Not really. So even just when we were out on the jet ski yesterday, we've got the music blasting, we're driving around in the beautiful ocean, it's a beautiful sunny day. I'm like, this is amazing. And that was something that really, like I felt like filled my bucket back up. Being with Clinton and just enjoying our beautiful surroundings and how lucky we are to be able to just go and do this. Like, it just gave me goosebumps being out there. I was like, this is, this is really amazing. I just thought the way she put that was really interesting and it was really good for me to visualize it. And over the last two weeks since I haven't been, I've really been able to put those practices into place. Even when I come home, I sat down and I drew my own bucket and I, things that were draining me, things that are fun but draining, things that... I'd like to have in my routine to feel good about myself and kind of in charge and in control of my week. And then on top of that, things that I do for fun and for relaxation. Okay, I feel like I've just been like rambling about this for so long now, but that was something that really kind of struck a chord with me and I'm excited to put these practices into place and really work on that side because 
it's important to me. But if you feel like you are struggling at the moment, especially during COVID, like this has been rough. I felt like I've never really experienced these kinds of feelings until COVID hit when we were locked up in our houses and restricted from doing so much, when we postponed the wedding, all of a sudden, all these feelings that I've never felt before come to the surface. And if you're feeling the same way, I think it's really important to go and seek help and talk to someone because it's really helped me and our mental health is one of the most important things. So if you're struggling, definitely go and seek help. I know it can be hard, but it will feel so good. All right, I've just gone ahead and primed my eyelids with some concealer and set them with powder. Now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop That's Taupe palette. I have been loving this. I know I said I wanted this one because I didn't want to spend the money on the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, but I went into Sephora the other day and I was looking at the Glam Palette. <sighs> A part of me still really wants it. Although, I will just say it doesn't have enough mattes. It's very, um, what are they called? Shimmer. <laughs> it's very like shimmer based. There's only like three or four mattes in it. So, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I might go in with a bit of a darker color today. So what is everybody up to for Christmas this year? What are your plans? Have your usual plans? taken a bit of a turn due to, you know, the old pandemic. Here in Australia, Melbourne was the only country that was in, country, state, that was in like a severe lockdown. Their laws have recently changed a bit, but I think Adelaide recently went into like a really strict lockdown because of a few cases. But here in Queensland, we still have a few restrictions in place regarding how many people can be at certain venues things like that, but we aren't under like extremely strict laws, which is good for us because at Christmas we will be able to go and spend time with our family. Leave a comment below though, letting me know what part of the world you're in and what your restrictions are like. What is Christmas looking like for you? I know that this pandemic isn't going to be over anytime soon, but oh my God, I am just so looking forward to next year. <laughs> Oh, and I really hope things don't get worse because to be honest, I've got a lot of very exciting plans next year and COVID can't be getting in my way. Pretty much all of my friends and I are turning 30. So we're going to have some damn good celebrations. I am, oh, I can't believe it. Like what the hell? Clinton will be 30 in July and I'll be 30 in October. We're building the house. We've got the wedding. So far things are looking really good, like everything's going to go ahead. My girlfriends are even throwing me hen's night round two. <laughs> I'm just really looking forward to all of these things and I just don't want COVID to get in the way again. I feel like everyone feels like that. We've had enough, but just because we've had enough doesn't mean it's over. We still have to be careful. All right, I might stop yapping for a minute and get this eye look complete and then I'll be back. All right, so that, um, escalated pretty quickly into a dark smoky eye. When I was doing my skin, I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna put eyeshadow on today because I'm loving this fresh dewy look. I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Wifey. <gasps> oh my God, I just tipped it upside down to double check the shade and tipped lipstick everywhere. <laughs> this looks extra nude on me today. Mm. Yeah, I think I need something with a bit more pigment. All right, guys. Well, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching today and having this little catch up. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. I will have my handle on the screen now. It will also be linked down below in the description box as well as everything I used on my face today. Well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.